just arrived to Casa Punta Coco. This is one of our most favorite treasured places that we've ever stayed because it was our first place that we've traveled to together. And this hotel, or boutique hotel that is, is as beautiful as we remember it. Let me show you around a little bit. We spent two days here in Casa Punta Coco, one of the best spots to watch the sunset in Holbosch. We are so excited to show you our room. It's beautiful. Come along. We honestly were shocked at how beautiful our room was. So the main attraction to this room is this glorious bed and it has the best view of the ocean. So excited to wake up to this in the morning. Outside. We have to have breakfast out here because this is what? Imagine drinking your coffee here, eating your breakfast, and then staring out into this view. This is twice as big as our little apartment, to be honest with you. Um, it really is. Oh my god, you're right. Our apartment is smaller mm -hmm. than this. We are. I don't even think like, we're going to do anything else this whole vacation. I think we just want to stay in and enjoy this room. This is. This we'll is. We'll be awesome. lazy, but whatever. This is there is a massive jacuzzi in the corner of this room. I was thinking we'd go out tonight, but when I saw this, I was like, nah, nah, nah. This is the spot tonight. Good morning. We just woke up. It's around 7 a.m. right now. Um, and we just woke up to the most beautiful sunrise. So Daniel and I woke up, uh, got ready, and we came downstairs. Casa Punta Coco has um, a personal chef here for all of their guests, so they make breakfast for everyone in the morning. So you come on downstairs, pick a spot where you want to sit and eat breakfast, and just enjoy. Daniel just got bit by a lot of mosquitoes. So a little tip when you come here to Holbosch, there's bugs everywhere, there's mosquitoes everywhere, so bring bug spray. If you can bring one thing, the bug spray is important. Exploring the outside of the hotel was just as beautiful and unique as the inside. The best drinks here in Holbosch are these called Ojo Rojos. A mix of clamato, which is kind of like tomato juice, um, lime, some hot sauce, believe it or not, <laughs> and some beer. Back along the beach here in Punta Coco, the sand is a beautiful white soft texture and the ocean I mean the colors speak for itself right yeah it's beautiful honestly one of the biggest reasons why we love this place so much and we keep coming back to it because if there's only three rooms in the whole villa um, and they also have one personal chef that prepares all your meals and they actually ask you right they asked us yeah. what what do you want to have for dinner we have this and this and this and they have it ready whenever you want it and the food here was so, so good. So good. We literally are the only guests here, so we are gonna try to enjoy this to the max. Um, we're just getting some sun, enjoying it by the pool, and yeah, it's paradise. Unfortunately, today is our last day here. This was such a short little vacation, only four days. We booked a plane back to Cancun um, Cancun Airport that is, so we can spend a couple more hours here in Holbosch. Usually we would have had to go to the center of the town, um, take a ferry, and then drive to the Cancun Airport. But this time we're going to take a tiny little plane and uh, get to the international airport that way. Don't tell mom. Every time we go somewhere we always do something a little risky. Stay tuned until tomorrow. For last night, we enjoyed Chef Bruno's amazing cuisine. He's truly one of a kind. Bruno, the chef here in Casa Punta Coco, just made me um, my dinner for tonight. He's the sweetest. He made uh, coconut crusted shrimp for me, um, and then he made like a habanero uh, pineapple sauce to go with it. So this is our last night here in Holbosch, unfortunately, and our last night here in Casa Punta Coco. We cannot recommend this this hotel enough. Yeah, I think the staff makes the hotel and the staff has treated us it's tremendously. So true. So unfortunately, these are our last couple hours here. 
I'm really, really sad. <laughs> we have such anxiety coming back after yeah. spending some time here. Oh, it sucks. I know. It's such a beautiful place. It really makes you forget about reality. And you feel like you're in a dream for a couple of days. And the dream comes crashing down. <laughs> The taxi driver just dropped us off at the airport here in Holbosch. A tiny little airport. Tiny, I don't even tiny know if it should be called airport. an airport. It's a runway. It's a little runway. It's actually very cute, um, but this is going to save us a good amount of hours um, getting back to Cancun. Um, I think it's around 25 minutes. It's yep. a little small plane um, back to the airport. Um, so we'll take you along with us. This should be an adventure. This was our first time flying in a small plane, and we were so excited. Our flight took about 30 minutes to Cancun, and the views were unforgettable. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for some hilarious bloopers. Tell me you're Mexican without telling me you're Mexican. This is not water. No! I hate you so much. My hair was finally dry. Ugh, I can't. Too many ojo rojos, man.